so hello everyone. Thank you for joining our training today. This training is dedicated to Dicom Print with Medream. I'm Renata Kalnulene, Marketing Project Manager at Safneta. And today's webinar speaker is our system integration uh, manager at Safneta, Mariusz Shadowskas. And uh, if you have questions, please write them in the chat section. In the end of uh, the presentation, I'm going to read all the questions. In case we can't answer all the questions, the answers will be included in the presentation file. And as you know, our webinars and trainings are recording. So video recording, I will send you in a few days after our training with a presentation file. So Marius, I'm passing the screen to you and the word. Let's start. Hello, hello. So I hope you can hear me well and see my screen. Yes. With the slides, very good. So let's uh, start our uh, webinar or technical training about the DICOM print support in the dream uh, product. So uh, as always, uh, short content of the webinar or what we are going to uh, see uh, and try today. So we will check uh, the Medream print station. Uh, we also talk uh, um, briefly about the uh, external links plugins and you will see how it uh, correlates with the print station and Medream viewer itself. If you still haven't uh, used this uh, uh, very cool feature of Medream and we will try to, well, I hope not try, I hope we will succeed to uh, integrate the uh, print station with the PAX Premium, uh, Medream PAX Premium, Medream PAX Lite, and DCM 4 g version 5. So we will integrate it with these PAXs and we'll try to open them uh, from the Medream viewer. Uh, so when the study is open, it, uh, we would be able to click a button and the print station would uh, open uh, on the machine. So first, uh, let's talk uh, a little bit about the print station. Uh, here is just a screenshot. So during this uh, training, uh, I will present you this uh, uh, this software live. So just for now, uh, I have put the the print screen here of the DICOM print uh, uh, section where you can, as you can see, add a printer or choose a printer, and of course, send it to. to to print and um, basically this uh, with uh, software print station allows you to open the DICOM images from uh, various sources uh, for example from the folder uh, importing from the CD or using the DICOM web protocol which uh, basically we are going to to use today in in our in our training and the configuration and of course open it images can be can be sent to the configured printers. And uh, there is a uh, two points I want to I want to stress out. So the Medream uh, print station is uh, based on the Viazi software, which uh, which has an option, as you can see, to add these uh, DICOM printers uh, as a nodes here and to have some multiple configuration of it and, and so on and to send, of course, it to the printer for the printing. And uh, as you may know, the Medream Viewer itself is a certified product in, in different countries, uh, in different regions. It has different uh, certificates. So this uh, Medream print station is not a certified. So just keep in mind this if you will be using and if you check if you would need a certificate or no. So just to point this, this out uh, uh, to you. Uh, in general, uh, if we talk about the print station, so um, after the training or, or or in general, if you will have uh, some questions uh, how to uh, configure uh, our Medream Pax Premium or Medream Pax Lite or DCM4G uh, or Medream Viewer, how to configure them together to work with the print station, so you can always uh, contact us at our uh, support email 
so our colleagues or the integrators or support team will uh, will help you to configure and to integrate everything and regarding the uh, usage of the software all the functionalities everything so uh, we would recommend to check official page of VASI software uh, which can be found here so you can read all the all the documentations about this uh, about the settings of software what can what can be said what can be done how to add some dicom nodes some printers and so on so all this information is available on the on their uh, website uh, now let's talk a little bit about the external links plugin and not sure how many of you knows this and maybe you have seen in the Medream viewer or maybe you have uh, read in the install manual in which case you are very 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 good person and uh, as you can see plugins uh, um, he has this uh, like a socket plug uh, icon here so it can be found in the in the Medream uh, toolbar at the top or in some other cases at the bottom depends where you have the toolbar. Uh, what this uh, external links plugins allows. So basically it allows you to add a custom text based buttons to the Medream viewer and these text buttons can be can open um, different URLs can execute different URLs uh, like a web URLs. Also it can open uh, URLs for the third party softwares and so on. And uh, what is the important part here is that you can pass uh, some metadata information of open ed study. So let's say you have uh, on the left side uh, of the viewport, you have open at some image, CT image or whatever image. And you already have that meta information like study instance UID, patient ID, accession number, storage ID and so on. And you can uh, build the URL structure, you know, you can pass these multiple parameters to your uh, third party system and you can open it uh, either, as you can see here in the new window, either in the active viewport. So let's say on the left side, you have the image open it for the doctor and on the right side, you can open, I don't know, a report or uh, your uh, developed tools or whatever uh, or whatever is is needed it is possible it is possible to do with the links plugin or it's possible to open the model uh, iframe uh, window on the on the viewer uh, so why i am talking about this links plugin because uh, this links plugin we will uh, configure and will use to open the dream print station so we will configure uh, uh, some button which we will press and uh, from the Medream viewer we will open the Medream uh, print station. Uh, just uh, one thing left more here is that uh, the links plugin is automatically installed when you install the Medream. Doesn't matter if it's on Windows, Docker or, or Linux. So on your installation folder, so in Windows it will be C drive, let's say MD pack or MD packs. You will have the Medream folder, Medcat plugins folder, and the links JSON file. So this is the main JSON file which uh, which requires uh, editing. So for more information, you can always find in our uh, installation manual on the section external links plugin. Here in this slide, I just uh, put some uh, examples of the JSON structure. So for example, this uh, JSON structure, is, as you see, is quite straightforward. You would need to provide four uh, parameters. So the name of the button, the position where the where this button will be visible. So in this case, in the viewer, and how you want to open it. So you can open, as you can see, either in the new window, in active viewport iframe, in model window, and so on. So you choose this, and then in URL, you can provide what you want to open. In this case, this would open our um, included. Um, a user manual for the Medream viewer. In this example, for example, you would open some web page which would open in a new window. So all this information, uh, this table and, and this text, they just taken from the install manual. So you can uh, you can read it uh, uh, in, in the install manual to, to, to get more information. There is more examples uh, how you can uh, try and test and you can open 
not only the URLs, but you can also launch the software using this external links plugin. And the last thing, what you need to do if you don't see this uh, plugins uh, uh, icon in your toolbar, so most probably it is uh, uh, set to disable on the toolbar option. So you want to log in to your Medrim viewer, go to the settings, go to the viewer, and scroll to the uh, toolbar properties and find this plugin row. So just let me open you the Medrim viewer. I will log in. I will go to the settings. In the settings, we have a viewer here. And if we scroll down, we have the toolbar properties, so all these toolbars uh, can be um, changed, as you may already know. You can enable and disable them. And at the bottom somewhere, we have the plugins here, uh, the plugins. So uh, for me, it is uh, enabled, but in your case, it might be disabled. So just uh, press to desktop mode and press save, save, and it will be, it will be saved. And of course, if you have opened it to the viewer window, you would need to uh, refresh uh, the browser so it would it would appear in your uh, in your browser in the Medrim viewer window. So now uh, let's try uh, our first uh, integration. So our Medrim Packs Premium to integrate with the Print Station. So for this uh, we will need to do a few steps. So first of all. Uh, we will need to download and unzip the following package. So I believe Renata later will put these slides and also will be recording. So you don't need to write this uh, this uh, link now. So it will be available in, in a few days. So no worries here. So in this uh, zip file, it will contain a DICOM print uh, installation file and some additional files which need to be copied to the PAX uh, Premium uh, installation folder. So of course our first step would be to run uh, uh, run the installer. So it is uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, just click next next and that's it. And uh, it will be installed on your computer or virtual machine. And then we will need to do uh, to copy two files. So first we will need to copy Dicom Web PHP file to the Medrim. Uh, Pax Premium PHP folder. So if you are installing Medrim and just clicking next, next, so the default uh, installation will be on C drive, mdpax, slash pax, and slash php. So in this folder, we want to copy and paste this DICOM web. Of course, if it's your um, if it's your uh, production environment, we would recommend to backup. Uh, this DICOM file, of course, uh, if you are testing, so you can just copy paste it. And also, we need to copy this VADO RS authentication by PATS file to the PAX folder. So not PHP, but to the PAX folder. So let me come back to the um, virtual machine. So I have here. Uh, I have here the unzipped file. So as you can see, we have the print station installation file. So just uh, run it and, and it will install just to save time. So I have it already installed. And if I will write my dream, as you can see, it, it is already installed my dream print station here. So the next steps I want to do is uh, copy the DICOM web file, and go to PHP uh, folder of CMD packs, uh, packs PHP, and just paste the file. It will ask me if I want to replace it. I click yes. Also, we want to copy uh, Vado RS authentication uh, file, come back to the packs folder and paste it here. In this case, I have this file, so it asks me to replace. In your case, it will be a new file. So you just copy copy paste here. And uh, there is one more thing what we need to do. Uh, so we need to edit the uh, PHP file, which is uh, uh, Vado RS PHP file. So we need to find the line 53 and 54 and update with MySQL password. But here we have a very important and um, note here. And um, 
it is highly recommended to create a, a separate MySQL user for this, uh, which would uh, be able to access the PAX database and read the, the tables, uh, because this user, MySQL user and MySQL password, as you will see later, uh, it will be passed along with the URL. So basically, um, in this working environment, you don't want the root username and the password to to be visible somewhere in the in the URLs. Of course, I'm using here now the virtual machine with the demo installation, so I will use the root user, but you cannot do this. Only I can do. So let's uh, come back to the packs folder. Let's go to PHP and we need to find the Vado uh, RS folder, Vado RS file. We have a Vado, but we need Vado RS and we need to edit it and find the lines 53 54 so as you can see i'm using a root user but in your case i highly recommend to uh, create a separate user for this a mysql user and put the username and password here so you want to save this file and the restart the um, x premium service so the settings would uh, would apply. And for the Pax Premium, basically on the Pax Premium side, basically that's it. So installing the installing the application, the copying two files, and changing uh, MySQL username and password in in one of the Vado RS PHP file. And we come back to the external links plugins, which we talked uh, a little bit uh, earlier. So once we have everything done, now we can set up external links plugin and we can put the actual button which will open uh, from the Medream viewer. It will open the print station and it will load that specific uh, uh, study, specific images which we have opened in the Medream viewer. So for this, uh, we want to edit the links.json file, which in our case uh, by the default will be in C in the PAX uh, Medream Medcat plugins links.json location. And basically what we want to do is just copy this part. So once again, the slides will be available. So you will be able just to copy paste easily. You don't need to rewrite here everything. So you will uh, need to copy this, uh, this part of the JSON and change the highlighted values. So basically highlighted values, uh, there is first uh, the IP address and port. So in this case, this is the uh, IP address on which my PAX uh, premium is running. So as mentioned at the time, running on the same machine. So I just put 127.0.0.1. In your case, it might be on different machine or maybe it will have a host name, subdomain or whatever. So you just need to put the 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 real address on which the PAX is accessible. And as mentioned before, with the MySQL username and password, so as you can see, in this URL, we are passing the MySQL username and the password. So that's why we recommend to use a, a separate user for this and do not use the root user. So once we have this uh, copy pasted to links.json, uh, what we need to do, of course, is to save it and uh, restart Medream service. So in my links.json, as you can see, I have already added the, this first uh, uh, example of the integration with the PAX Premium. So I have put the name, I have put position, I want to open a new window, and I have put the URL. So if I will open now Medream Viewer, I will open a study. And uh, when I open the study, I have the active image open it. As you can see, I have this uh, plugin uh, uh, menu item in the toolbar. So if I press on this uh, small arrow uh, looking down, it will uh, open the available button. So here you can put like, I don't know, 5, 10 or whatever, how many uh, buttons you need. Uh, just in, in this example, I have put one, but it is possible to have multiple buttons. And if we will press to open my dream print station, it will ask if we want uh, to open it. So we click open link and in few moments, my dream print station loads and it starts to download that uh, particular study. 
which we have opened it in Medrim. So if you see, we have opened it this uh, leg uh, uh, image. So we have it here, the one Syria and two, two instances. So we have it here. So we have on the Medrim print station, uh, what we can do is go to file, uh, to print, and DICOM print, and we have this uh, uh, pop up um, window open it for which I have made a print screen, if you remember from the first slides. So here you can choose a printer. Of course, I don't have a DICOM printer at home, sadly. So I cannot, uh, I cannot print, but uh, in principle, you can add uh, this printer here. You can add the, all these uh, uh, Mm, configuration settings and so on save it and uh, choose a printer and click print and it will be sent uh, to the printer so this is how we uh, integrate with the medream uh, fax uh, premium now let's try to uh, do the same integration but let's try to integrate with medream pack slide so this is uh, mm, a little similar, but also a little uh, different approach. So for this, we need to download uh, a little bit different zip file. In this uh, zip file, it will contain the DICOM print uh, uh, station installation file. So once again, you just uh, run the installer and install it on, you on, the, on the machine. And what we will need to do is to edit the mm, uh, by the way, on the Medrim PAX Lite, uh, for, for a PAX solution, we are using the Ortang here in the PAX Lite. So that's uh, that's why it is installed uh, as an Ortang server. And we need to configure the main Ortang uh, uh, configuration file. Well, one of the main uh, configuration files, maybe uh, the Ortang JSON file. So if you install it by default so it will be installed in c drive on the program files on ortang server configuration and the ortang.json so in this json what we need to do is to find uh, two parameters so first parameter we need to find the remote access allowed by default it will be false so here we want to set it to true so that way we would be able we would allow uh, to connect uh, to our tank from the mm, remote uh, remote locations. So we want to set it to true. And another parameter, we need to find the registered users and add your user uh, here in this in this parameter. So in this example, we are going to use the demo as username and demo as password. So here you can have uh, multiple uh, users uh, created and uh, in the or tank. So let's come back a little bit to the our virtual machine. Let's open our tank file. Let's find first of all a uh, remote uh, access allowed. So it will be somewhere around 216 line. Of course, it depends on which version of Ortank you are using. Uh, but we want to set this to true. And we want to find the another parameter, registered users. And by default, it will not have any users. So you just uh, put a new line and put here a username and the password. And you need to save uh, this uh, save this file. Once you do this, uh, there is one more thing to do uh, to edit the DICOM WebJSON file, which is also again in the same configuration folder. So we want to open this folder, uh, sorry, this file, and we want to set enable to true and change the host if needed. Uh, in this case, as I'm using the um, Ortang also on the same uh, virtual machine. So I just put 127.0.0.1, but here in principle, it is the uh, IP and the port number on which the uh, or tank is uh, running. So if we will come back on the DICOM WebJSON file, as you can see, I have it set enabled to true and I have put the uh, 
uh, the host the IP address of our tank server. So once this is done, we also save the file and we need to restart uh, our tank service so that the new configuration would be would be uh, would be applied or in the in the or time. Uh, another thing, I think almost the last thing with the tank <laughs> is uh, that the um, Medream, uh, the Ortank will use the DICOM web and uh, we will send from the from the links plugin, we will send the authorization header, but we will send it uh, encoded. So what we need to do is uh, to encode our username and the password in such format where we have username and the password and we have to encode it to base 64 so one of the ways you could use for example this website uh, or any other website or your own tool uh, to to encode this password uh, so if i will uh, come back to our virtual machine I'm having this base64 open it. I have chosen the uh, encoding uh, solution. I have put the username and the password. Uh, as you can see, demo demo. I press encode and we are getting this uh, this encoded string. So this we will need in the next step when we will uh, configure the external links plugins because as mentioned it, uh, I will I will show you about this header also one more thing about the um, or tank so as we already um, added the remote access allow it to true and we have added the username so now uh, or tank no longer allows you to log in without the credentials so now when you will open the or tank uh, user interface uh, or any other api for example so you will need to provide the username and the password so in this case uh, demo demo you will need to provide so the same thing is with the um, Medream. so if you have uh, our native uh, or tank uh, plugin and you configure it to work with the or tank so basically before you maybe had a configuration like this and you didn't use the username and password but now as we have added the username and password in the tank so you will need to have set the username and password here so one of the usernames and passwords from this uh, registered users should be also added here in the medream and of course after adding this you need to save the Medream application properties and restart the Medream service. And uh, coming back to this uh, Paxlight integration with the Medream viewer. So once again, we have done all the uh, parts on the Pax site. Now we have left only one uh, thing to do in the links.json file. So in this case, as you can see, the structure is a little bit different here everything is the same but the url is a little bit different and here we also need to copy the full path and change the highlighted values let me do this on the machine and i will explain you what we have because i need a little bit time to restart my dream so as you can see here again we hope we put the name whatever we want we choose the position to show it in the viewer we want to open in a new window and here uh, this part we want to put the ip address of our or tank so in this case i am putting 127001 in your case it might be some external ip uh, some local ip or host name or 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 whatever and here as you can see the last part uh, this part we actually are sending the authorization basic authorization header and it needs to be sent encoded. So that's why we needed to encode this uh, demo demo username and password to base64 and we have put it here so that it would be uh, sent with the correct value. So if we will refresh now the Medream, uh, login again, let's open our tank, click any, let's open some smaller study here and we have uh, 
study open it and once again let's come to the plugins and we have a button to open my dream print station for a pack slide uh, when i press it click open link and it starts the Medream print station and it downloads the as you can see it's downloading the study the study is already downloaded and we can again go to file print dicom print and send it to the printer for printing so this is how it is done on the Medream uh, Medream pack slide and the last uh, the configuration, the license integration is with uh, DCM 4 g version 5. So surprisingly, it's the most easiest integration if you have uh, worked with DCM 4 g So it's quite confusing thing, but uh, with this integration, it's uh, uh, quite easy. So basically, uh, you want to download this uh, installation package, of course, of the Medream print station. Uh, you want to uh, install it and the good thing with the dcm 4 g that everything uh, well one thing you need to do is to add three parameters and you don't need to edit any files or or anything because uh, dcm 4 g has this uh, user interface which is usually available on this uh, port number and dcm uh, 4 g r minus r slash UI2. So most probably you will have a similar uh, user interface uh, link to uh, access your DCM 4 g user interface. And in, in here, we want to go to the configuration. We almost always configure DCM 4 g uh, device. And on the web application, uh, on the DCM 4 g web application, we only need to add three parameters. So here is the first parameter the first line the second line and the third line so let me open uh, dcm 4 g so it will be it will be easier as you can see here now i don't know i'm not on the local host i have another virtual machine with the uh, ubuntu uh, which is uh, which runs uh, dcm 4 g and i am accessible through my local network so if we come to the configuration, we want to edit this DCM uh, for Chi archive. We press on the pencil account, uh, pencil pencil icon. Uh, on the device extensions, we go to the edit extension. And in the device extensions, we need to expand the child objects. So once the child objects is expanded, we can see that we have the web applications uh, uh, option and here you can see there is a lot of uh, different web applications but what we want is this uh, dcm 4 g so basically it's one two three from the top uh, we want to edit this so just click on the name and it will open this web application so here you can put uh, multiple configurations here but in our case what we want to do we just want to scroll to the bottom and we have this property field here so as you can see i have already added three values here uh, it's nothing changed you know you don't need to put any ip address any username any password just uh, copy paste these lines you know and that's it in your case you will have like this one line you know of this so you just click add button to add few more and to, so you would have totally free of them and copy paste uh, line by line here and you want to go here and save uh, settings once it's saved it, it so says that the device successfully saved it and that uh, the configuration has been reloaded and the last part what we need to do is is to go to the um, links json again to form the button so it would be visible in the Medream viewer. So in this case, uh, we want to copy uh, such JSON. And there is only one thing to change. So only change the IP address of the DCM for Chi archive on which IP address or on which uh, host name it is, it is uh, accessible. So let's come back here to the 
and links JSON. I will save and restart. My dream viewer uh, service. So as you can see, I, as I am accessing through my local network, so I am just adding my uh, local IP address of my uh, DCM for Chi, which runs on the on the Linux on the Docker images, and uh, it will open the it will download the study uh, by the study instance uh, UID, which we will provide as a variable uh, from from the Medream viewer. So let's refresh the Medream. It loads. Let me go to login. Let's choose the DCM for Chi. Click any. We have some other study here. Let's open the study. And once again, we have this plugins menu. We press it and click open a uh, Medream print station in DCM for Chi. F uh, DCM for Chi. And we press open. And the Medream print station loads again. And once again, it uh, loads the, the study. It will show it here in the print station. And once again, uh, file, print, and DICOM print. And you are uh, ready to print the DICOM images. So basically, this is it with the DCM for Chi. So to sum up all the information. Uh, so as you can see, uh, well, you actually didn't see how my dream print station was configured with DICOM printer because I don't have one. But uh, I hope that you do have and uh, you will be able to configure. Uh, the external links plugins, as you can see, it's a uh, quite cool feature. Uh, some secret information, maybe we will have a webinar about this. So we don't know, we need to discuss, but we have quite nice examples of this. So it is uh, possible to open the print station uh, from the Medream viewer. So just by clicking a, a button. Uh, also, I didn't mention you can configure like a shortcut, you can you have it uh, in the quick menu where you press the right mouse click and you have this uh, button to open the, the the print station or so on so it can be uh, quite quite handy thing and uh, we now i can see that we have succeeded to integrate with the medream packs premium with medream packs light and with the dcm for chi we were able to open the images in the Medream viewer and we were able to uh, open the button and open the print station and print station loaded the same images, same study uh, in, in the application. So if you will need support, uh, how to configure Medream viewer or how to configure the uh, access to work with the print station so you can always contact uh, our support team and uh, we will uh, be happy to help you so that's it with the presentation so getting back to you Renata uh, thank you very much Marius so I'm sharing the questions now so the first one can Medream be integrated with DSM for Chi on a Synology server? Yes, so basically, as we our last example was the integration with DCM for Chi. So yes, it is possible uh, to configure uh, to integrate with DCM for Chi. Of course, uh, not sure what is the Synology server is. Most probably some NAS server or something like that. So. Basically, the idea would be that uh, uh, your DCM with for Chi uh, would be accessible uh, for the Medream viewer and uh, uh, from the, um, let's say, workstation where you will installate the print station so that DCM for Chi would be also uh, accessible using some uh, internal IP address or some host name or so on. If everything is accessible, if the ports are open, so yes, it is. 
it is possible. And as you saw in our example, we have successfully uh, integrated with this young 4 g OK, thank you. Another question. Does the external link plugin could be linked with a current language in order to translate content and customize or less related to language? That's a good question. And um, I cannot tell you for sure now. Maybe we will uh, we will uh, answer it uh, uh, in the in the slides when you will prepare it. But it would be a cool feature. As I understand, the question would be uh, to have different menu items according to the language. I'm not sure about this. Need to check with the team. Okay, thanks. And another one. And what about the rebranding? Isn't there a way to inherit this option? On the other hand, we have this option enabled, but users would like to print directly from Medream and not from an additional application. More steps means more time invested per patient. Yes, I agree with this uh, regarding the, the printing, but um, as I know, this is the only solution now because um, uh, we have this print uh, print option, but basically it just print the the, the PDF file, I think, and uh, not not the not the actual thing. Think how it would be uh, between the DICOM images and the DICOM printer. So in this case. Uh, it would be necessary to use this uh, additional uh, additional software. I'm not sure about the roadmap of uh, of Medream. Maybe this is a good question for our boss <laughs> to add it. I'm sure we are going to pass these questions. Yes. Uh, so we, we got just these questions. Very good. So I has. think everything was very clear. So I'm happy. <laughs> Or it was uh, not clear at all. So uh, if uh, after you can rewind, you know, rewatch this uh, training uh, video. And if you are completely lost, so just write us an email. And we will uh, help you. Yeah, for more questions, uh, Marius already showed our email, our support team. Oh, I see somebody wrote. Uh, was very very clear. So very good. You. Very good. Uh, so if you have questions or you have uh, your case studies, just please contact our support team and our colleagues. We will help. We will help you. And as I promised, we will send the presentation file uh, with the presentation and video recording. Oh, I see. We got one more. What about PDF file with instructions about this process? Uh, actually, we have. Yeah. yeah. So if you will contact, because uh, I got it from support team, these instructions, and I have tried this integration. So we have uh, we have instructions. So just uh, write us to support at softneta.com the, the for which packs you want the instructions and we we have them and uh, we will be able to to send it to you. OK, so thank you everyone for joining us today. Have a nice day or evening depends which time zone you are in and see you on our next uh, webinars or trainings. So see you all. Bye. Thanks. Bye.